Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business. And we have something very special for you, our listeners today, with a training that we did recently on the Clubhouse platform. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Clubhouse, it is a social networking app where people create rooms and discuss a wide range of topics. And because it's delivered direct to your mobile device, you may notice a difference in audio quality, which we're hoping doesn't take away from your listening experience. What is important, of course, is the content that we're sharing. And I invite you to be intentional with what you wish to receive from listening today. How do you want to feel after you have listened to our session? For more information on how you can join us on future Clubhouse meetings with me, Louisa Havers, be sure to check out the show notes below and we will see you in the Clubhouse. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. I'm so excited because I have one of my dear friends here, Samantha Selby. By way of introduction, I want to uh, introduce you officially to Sam so you can see why I am so excited to be having this conversation today. So Samantha Selby is this astrological energy healer and channel for star goddess activations. She is the creator of Ascension Astrology, which is a blend of modern science, psychology, transformational energy techniques with the ancient art that is astrology. Following the divine guidance that she receives, Sam mentors, teaches and guides women spiritual entrepreneurs that want to reveal, heal and activate and step into their feminine energy for more peace, joy, prosperity and stability in their lives. Sam firmly believes that knowing yourself at the deepest level is the key to living a happy and successful life. And she is passionate about living what she calls an illuminated life, life where you're free to shine your unique light in the most joyous and effortless way. And in doing so, you're then creating the ripples of magic that filter out your loved ones and clients, creating change and existential transformation for all. There's a word. (laughs) to get my teeth around. Sam has over 25 years experience supporting thousands of women to heal from trauma, limiting beliefs and patterns of self-sabotage, enabling them to live happy, healthy lives with an inner wealth and self-value that leads them to run successful businesses, enjoy loving, respectful relationships and experience the freedom to choose what they do with their valuable time and energy. She is one of the only three mass energy alignment mentors well by and runs her own successful school of complementary therapy and lectured students studying for degrees in complementary therapy as well. Sam continues her passion for teaching and up-leveling women by mentoring women leaders and space holders to host their own moon circles which are safe spaces for women to connect with their own feminine essence and to follow the guidance offered by working with the energy of the feminine luminary, the moon. Welcome, Sam. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much uh, for inviting me to have this, this chat, this conversation, Louisa. It's, uh, you know, we know each other very well. You know, I class you as a good friend, but um, it's such a joy to be able to share my passion and my joy with with you and all of your uh, lovely listeners i'm so excited we've been trying to get this this date in the diary for a while so um we, my my listeners have been waiting for this one for for a while so i'm so excited to be bringing this to, to everybody to today so massive welcome and um congratulations on all the all that you contribute to the planet because i know that the work that you do is just absolutely massive and i know that your your story and your journey will resonate with so many people so let's let's dive in let's start with you know what led you to running the business that you're running now so well way back (laughs) back in the eons of time imagine you're going on a journey through the mists of time so way 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 back uh, my my two oldest sons were very young Um, I used to work in London I worked in banking and uh, had done since I was 16 and I met a lady in a pub basically and uh, I'm going (laughs) to as you do, I was on a career break and uh, I was um, working behind a, a bar in a pub and I met this most incredible uh, lady. She was uh, she became a mentor to me and I didn't want to go back to work in London. Uh, it, it was it was too much. Um, I'd got two very young uh, uh, children and she said to me, uh, Sam, I, I do these therapies, uh, reflexology and aromatherapy. I think uh, this would be something you'd be really interested in. 
And from that conversation in a pub, all the best conversations happen. <laughs> um, I, I trained in, in reflexology. And from that, I set up my own complementary therapy business. Uh, and initially, it was small in my, in my little village. And I was working with local clients. And then over the years, I added other modalities. I started to become more interested in the mind-body link. Mm. Um, it was so powerful for me to see the emotional connection with what was showing up in the body. And I ran this business very successfully for a number of years until about 10 years ago when, uh, when I had my, my daughter. So my, my sons were grown up. They were um, 18 and 17. And, uh, and I had my gorgeous daughter, Rosie, at the age of 40 turned my life on its head, <laughs> and, <laughs> as it does when you have a baby. Um, and, uh, and in that uh, experience, I started to work with women that had uh, experienced birth trauma. Mm. And this is where I started to deepen my work in supporting women with PTSD, birth trauma, and real life-changing events. At the same time, I met again, the lady that I'd met in the pub in the street in the village and I hadn't seen her for a long time and we we got chatting and she said um I'm setting up this uh this little kind of circle in around my my kitchen table I've, I've started to to learn astrology and I want to teach it would you like to come and I'm like yeah that would be <laughs> amazing um fabulous and so this this real powerful female mentor in my life twice has changed the course of my, my life and so I started to study astrology around her kitchen table first with a with a belly um, a big belly uh, full of baby and then then Rosie used to come with me and I I was just doing it for fun I, I it, it interested me it excited me I started to understand how astrology helped me to understand me mm. And then over the years, uh, the birth healer work expanded and I started to run uh, circles for, for women, for predominantly for uh, the birth workers, so midwives, doulas. And this was to offer them a safe space for them to be held uh, because the work that they did was so important to, to support other women. And these were red tent circles and these slowly morphed into working much deeper with the moon, combining my astrology work. And over time, this blending of what I found to be such a passion for me excited me. I, I you know, it was, <laughs> I, I am one um, astrology book away from an intervention, basically. <laughs> I have so many. Um, and all the time, it was a deepening of the knowledge of myself, understanding me. How did I tick? How did I work? What were my strengths? What were my weaknesses? And over that time, I began to step much more into my divine feminine energy. You know, I, I lived a life previous to this very much in my masculine energy space, pushing through. I was a single mum for, for many, many years. Uh, I used to pride myself on being able to cope with absolutely anything. Didn't ever ask for support. Got on, got things. <laughs> you know, I was this like superwoman on speed. Um, <laughs> But I wasn't in any way living a life that was at all. Uh, well, I was very busy and I used to wave the flag of business, but mm. I didn't have financial freedom. I didn't have financial success. I had a big client list, uh, you know, but I wasn't living the kind of life I wanted to live. Mm. And then over the years, this evolution of bringing astrology into my work, into my life, started to come into my work as well with the moon circles initially and then in the last couple of years it's just exploded um I'm walking my talk I'm showing how astrology has, has, has brought so much into my life mm. and in doing that my business has I can't it up 10 times um the, uh, the figures um one of the things I do know in my chart, um, I'm not great with numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so that's something to work on. Um, but it's 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 meant that I can support my my clients in a much deeper way. Mm. And combining astrology with all of the other techniques and modalities that I've explored over the years, particularly energy work, because it's not just knowing about yourself, it's 
knowing that you can change your internal programming. And that's where the, the beauty comes in. So now in my business, I work with women all around the world, uh, which is, again, an incredible joy mm-hmm. and to be able to create that ripple effect in, in so many ways. And it's this combination of a passion of mine, you know, that started as a hobby and all of the knowledge and the experience I've had over the years of working with deep trauma. Mm. and and understanding the 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 psyche of ourselves how we tick how we work and it's been an incredible experience for me and and it genuinely doesn't feel like work (laughs) Um, I absolutely love every single day of of what I do um because it's it's not work it's absolute joy (laughs) it's it's like I just have fun every day (laughs) You can tell that, Sam. You can see it every time you talk about astrology and the work that you do. You just light up, absolutely light up. And 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 with that, of course, like you mentioned about the trauma, and I think that's something um, just to, to, to pick up for a moment, because when we're wanting to improve our lives, often people kind of focus on the happy side of things. I've got to think positive thoughts all the time, but actually we've got to... Re- reveal and heal the trauma otherwise it's going to keep playing out these patterns and obviously from a business coaching perspective which which I do is you see that running through people's businesses they just keep rinsing and repeating the same trauma patterns if they haven't healed them and of course we get opportunities to heal them don't we along along the way as we keep growing and expanding so it's fantastic seeing the, the the transformation you know that you get to witness with your clients and the joy and the joy coming out from the healing of the trauma as well. Cause I know you do deep, deep work with people. Um, and then, the, yeah, and you're absolutely right, Louisa, you know, the, the trauma that we hold within our heart, uh, our heart energy around things like receiving, um, you know, I, the, the, the inner child work that I bring into, to my, uh, to my, uh, my sessions is so powerful because when we experience trauma, a part of us freezes in that moment and we, you know, it becomes a part of us that we're not able to accept, uh, uh, to access. Um, and although we can, in our natal chart, you know, people can read your natal chart and say, oh, you have, uh, you know, you've got Mercury in Gemini that's going to make you a fabulous communicator. Uh, but if you've experienced any kind of trauma around speaking up, speaking out, um, if you've experienced any trauma about how you uh, any beliefs or trauma around taking on of knowledge um you know especially around school and, and things mm-hmm. like that your your that natural resource is not going to it's not going to be accessible to you because the traumatized self the part of you that's been literally frozen in time that little that little child within um she can't access those those jewels because the trauma has got has made that part of you almost frozen and this also applies to your uh, I call it it's your Venus energy the Mm. um it's your heart uh, it's your ability your capacity to receive and again if you have experienced or if you feel as if you're you know experienced things in your in your childhood around receiving um you know feeling unloved feeling unworthy uh, you know, deep trauma that has occurred to, to shut down your heart energy, shut down your, um, you know, your, I feel good enough, I'm worthy, that energy, I call it your self-worth muscle. Mm. If that muscle is very weak, because you experienced um, situations that have, um, that have made your, uh, your, you know, that changed your belief systems about yourself, your ability to receive is it's like and your self worth muscle is like I call it the olive oil arm you know it, it's so skinny and weak that yeah. you can't receive and you can't receive love in mm. a relationship you hold back from intimacy you certainly can't receive in your business and this is you know I see this with with my clients when I'm working with a with a client we're working on all areas of their life so where we're working perhaps on their self worth muscle this is going to affect their relationships but it's also going to affect how much they charge within their businesses it's going to affect their capacity to hold the space for other people but it's also going to affect how much 
money that they can receive and hold on to mm. um, which i know that you uh, you know you you lead very strongly with with that inside um the the wealth portal you know mm. it's such a powerful part of your work and uh, and this is where you know i see the synchronicities between us um mm. because we both know the value in the well it's not in value it's essential to heal from our past trauma absolutely it is uh, it- Often, in, just in terms of the wealth portal, people will come in going, yeah, we're going to do manifesting and it's going to be fun and it's going to be amazing. And yes, it is, because I have a simple process for 15 minutes a day. But before we dive into the 15 minutes a day of doing the fun stuff, we've got to clear out the trauma. <laughs> we've got to clear it out, find out where it's lurking and hanging hanging out in our energy field so we're not, that's not then the stronger vibration that we're sending out into the universe as we're doing that in a rewiring and that reprogramming it. It is, it's so key. Um, And being able to, I think one of the things that you do so well is, is being able to lead by example and talk about the traumas, because of course we can have traumas from childhood. We can continue to have traumas as as we're going through growing our businesses. It's not easy growing a business, you know, and social media will give us all these illusions that, you know, people celebrating X, Y, and Z, and it can, if your self-worth muscle is weak as you were describing I love that analogy is it can really start to trigger that again and you can start to have new triggers going on in building your business and whatever's going on in your family and all that kind of stuff that again is going to then have an impact in terms of how you're showing up in your business and being able to to receive yeah Mm. it's it's I love I love the work you do it's absolutely um, essential I think for for business owners to have that that blend and being really able to understand how they can work with the energies around them. They're not, you know, have to be subject to them and you can't do anything like Mercury retrograde here and that's it. Your computer's going to blow up and you can't do anything about it. Actually, there's so much that you can do. And I know that you've got your own unique way of working, which you call Ascension Astrology, which I absolutely love. It gives me goosebumps every time I hear you talk about it. I'd love you just to share a little bit about, you know, what is Ascension Astrology so our listeners can understand a little bit about that. So thank you for, I I love that you get goosebumps about Ascension Astrology. (laughs) How do I? (laughs) There's two distinct ways of working with uh, astrology and understanding your, I call it your energy blueprint. Um, And that's your natal chart and uh, something that we call transits. And in astrology, they use lots of words that, outside of that world nobody knows what they mean so I try and keep it very simple so people can understand so something that you will that most people have heard of is knowing your sun sign where the the you know you're a Leo or you're a a Taurian or you're a Gemini and this is something that we call your um your uh your natal chart and imagine that at the point of your birth there was a the universe took a snapshot of your of your energy at that point of your birth and this is we can see this uh, in your natal chart and uh, if you're interested in any of this you can google and there's lots and lots of search engines where you can find out your natal chart and it looks like a pretty picture it's like a circle and it's got lots of symbols all over it and uh, and lines and things like that and it can initially look quite scary if you don't know what you're looking at but essentially your natal chart is this energetic blueprint it's like a map of you and a map of your life and in that map we can see and we can um, explore your I call them the jewels within these are the parts of you that show us where where you shine where you know your resources what is so unique about you it's it's such an incredible uh it's an incredible way of working with somebody in their energy so your natal chart is you And when we look at your natal chart, we can also see where you might have difficulties, things that might be harder for you to to experience. Um, This is positioning of of certain planets. So Saturn is one, Chiron is another. Saturn is the master teacher. Um, You know, it's it's an incredible energy that shows you where you have to work harder. And it also shows you where it might, things might be difficult for you. Uh, so just sharing my experience, I have Saturn in my 11th house. So this is the area of my life, networks and groups and friends and, you know, th- th- that kind of community. This has been sh- shown up in my life a lot. When I was younger, I really struggled being part of groups. I always felt I was on the outside. Um, there were some elements of bullying, um, but I struggled massively with being part of a group. Um, never felt as if I was fully 
accepted. Uh, so that was my experience at school. When I then, I'm, I'm in my business life, networking. Everybody says you have to do, have to do networking. <laughs> oh, no, please. The thought of net, networking used to literally make, I'm going to say this, come in my mouth um it was it was it was horrific I hated mm. it absolutely hated it and that was my Saturn showing up because Saturn was telling me my biggest fear was being rejected by a group not being mm. part of a group so by being aware of this I was then able to do the energy work to release the fears of being rejected, to release those experiences as a child where, uh, you know, I would, um, I was homeschooled dinnered. So I'd go home for dinner, at lunchtime, come back. And of course, everybody else was all playing together. And there I was on the outside. Mm. So I, I could, I could understand where that had come from. And then I would use the energy work. I used the energy work to, to be able to reprogram my system. So as much as this was shown in my natal chart, I could actually use the energy techniques to, to work through this. So it no longer became a problem for me. Um, so now I can hang out in groups and I can network and I can feel much more comfortable about it. Uh, and obviously in business, it's that's key. That's a it's really, really key, key, key mm. part. Mm. So understanding that has been a, a real power for me. So that's, you know, just a, an example of your natal chart. And it, so it's very personal, uh, mm. very personal imprint of, of you. And I always, I find it very humbling and a very sacred experience to actually read someone's um, energy blueprint, their natal chart, because it's, it's, it's them at their yeah. core level. Yeah. The other part of astrology that's really powerful, and this is where I bring, uh, this is really what Ascension astrology is. It's working with the transiting planets. So, if you imagine in the heavens above you, there are all of the planets and these planets, because everything is energy, have an incredible power. They, they influence um, they influence everything that we do here down on Earth. We know that the moon influences life on Earth because if we didn't have the moon, we wouldn't have tides. Mm. We wouldn't have, uh, you know, we wouldn't have the, the seasons. We wouldn't have the sun uh, influences our whole life cycle. And all of the other planets in the heavens do the same uh, in different ways. So if you imagine that the planets in the heavens, they're moving around over your life. So you imagine your life is like a, your life is laid out for you again, like a, like a map. Mm. And up in the heavens, these planets are beaming down. Imagine they're like they've got spotlights and they beam down their energy uh, down onto to you and your, the map of your life. And each of these planets are a gift from the universe because it's a way the universe communicates with you. And these planets will beam their energy down onto you and your life and they will highlight and illuminate and show and bring up things and experiences and situations to help you with your soul up leveling. So the universe wants you to up level the universe has got your back the universe loves you the mm. universe is not out to get you <sighs> but when when things happen in in your life it's an opportunity for you to to heal to grow to experience different life situations so that your soul can up level so that you can step into a much more aligned version of yourself so we are you know these situations they happen they're gonna happen anyway uh, because mm. that's, that's how, you know, that's how life is. You are going to experience life. But by having an awareness of what's happening in the heavens, where these planets are going to beam their light down, how that's going to affect you, how that, what that might show up for you, how, the, how that might happen in your life, you can use that knowledge and the energy work. And this is key. It's bringing mm. in the energy work because that means that, when you are faced with a situation, uh, and this, you know, they can be life changing situations, uh, you can work with your energy, work with the emotions that are coming up for you. You can change your thoughts and beliefs. You can actually alter how you react and respond to a situation by applying the energy techniques that I use, EAM, the energy alignment method, so that you navigate these situations and I use the terms with ease and grace. Uh, and this has happened, um, you know, personally for me in my family. Mm. Uh, 
you know, my my eldest son uh, has had recently a really serious um, emotional breakdown. And this was because, so when I look at his chart, Pluto, great transformer, was crossing his ascendant, um, which is uh, in his first house, which is all about his identity. Mm. Triggered, and this won't trigger this for everybody, but from a planetary perspective, it it was triggering a huge transformation in how he saw himself. There are other, uh, you know, he has an eye condition that um, that is degenerative, but and all of this was being triggered for him. And there were other things happening in his life. And it meant that he had a very serious emotional breakdown mm -hmm. to the point where he wasn't, he was, he made um, three very serious attempts mm -hmm. to not be here. Now, that in itself as a mum is incredibly traumatic. Very traumatic. But because of the work that I was able to do for my energy, mm. I was able to support him through that in, you know, in a... <laughs> In a, in a way of not being triggered myself. And I could understand why this was happening for him because I could look at his chart. Mm. And because now I have a, a business that is, um, that is sustainable, I have a financial um, uh, basis that meant I could do this and still show up for my business, but have a business that was able to continue and be in, in this space. And being in all honesty um that my business is in that shape mm. I've done with you yeah. um, and also because of the work that I do with the astrology as well because I can plan my business uh using astrology I can also um plan my life using astrology and this is what I take my my clients through um, and this is really what ascension astrology is all about it's the knowing yourself on the deepest level and working with the planetary movements and your energy so mm. that you can ascend and so that you can, uh, you know, you can be the, the woman that you want to be. I was able to be the mum that I needed to be because of this combination of, of my work, um, which is why I'm so passionate about this. It's, you know, <laughs> could talk about it all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge to be able to, I mean, that is one of the gifts, isn't it? That when we learn these skills and techniques that we can, um, obviously we're using them for ourselves. We lead by example, don't we? But as well, being able to show clients, community members, et cetera, that there is a way through, particularly when you're, dealing with something that is is really challenging people that you love your family members that are um, going through their own trauma of course having that understanding and that insight gives you that it's another layer isn't it so you're in, able to approach it in an empowered way rather than perhaps from a contracted way going into that fear zone of course fear is going to get kicked up but being that's where being able to do the energy work is going to really help soothe that fight flight or freeze mode as as you're trying to navigate and hold that space for you know in your case your son and I'm sure there's going to be listeners thinking oh yeah I remember when you know whatever x y z happened um and may not have had that understanding about what's going on or why they're holding beliefs or what you know, when some, something was feeling like it was going really well and then suddenly they feel like they've been sort of had a swipe coming in, you know, that they weren't expecting at all. When you have that understanding about, OK, what else is going on above there? And I think most people know that, of course, you know, the moon controls the tides and all the things. We're water. So there's stuff going on there. So it only you can just expand your insight into thinking, OK, this is just not the moon up there. You know, there's a whole load of other stuff going on energetically and everything is energy. So we are going to be interacting and receiving and, and, and being affected by all those energies around us. I know you you talk about um, how the um, Mercury and Venus can impact people's businesses. And you were telling me the other day around sales and marketing and you're receiving receiving energy that I just think must be giving your clients so many light bulbs about how they work with that energy to impact their business and the success in their business absolutely and this is where uh, you know working with the planets it, yes it can help in your personal life you know I shared a story about my personal life but in your business, um, using the, the energies of, of your natal chart is so, so important and so, so powerful. So 
if I might, I'll just, I'll just kind of outline uh, the different planets and, and uh, what they do and what yeah. the function is. So um, your sun and your moon is your core identity. So this, your sun is your masculine energy. It is your, your vitality. It's, you're here to be your sun, ultimately. When people say to me, oh, you know, what am I here for? You're here to be you. Um, you're here to be your sun energy. You are, your sun is your outward facing. It's your, your conscious uh, your consciousness um but it's you know it's this outward facing energy it's, it's your masculine principle your moon so these are the two main feminine loop the, the masculine and feminine luminaries your moon energy is your body it's your unconscious it's your feminine principle your moon energy is everything that you do automatically uh, so as i said it's your your unconscious self it's your cycles, it's your rhythms. Um, your moon is everything that happens without you thinking about it. Mm. So you have these two, two luminaries, the two main luminaries, the sun and the moon. So they're, they're your core identity. It's who you are at a, a core level. Then you have Mercury. Now, Mercury is the planet of communication. So in your chart, your Mercury sign um, and that the house that Mercury is in um, are really key to understanding how you communicate with the world, how you take information in and how you put information out. This is absolute key if you want to do any marketing in your business <laughs> <laughs> you need to be able to access your Mercury energy, because if you can't communicate with your with your clients, you how are they ever going to know what what you're offering um you know so your mercury energy is, is so key your uh so the next planet we have is uh is venus and venus is your heart energy she is uh she's the planet of love of relationships she's the planet of money and abundance she's the planet of your self-worth and you use your venus energy any time that you are receiving or you're giving. So when you're receiving money, you're using your Venus energy. When you are holding space for your clients, you are using your heart energy, your, your Venus energy. So these two planets are so important in, in your business. Um, you know, if, you're, if your Venus energy is shut down, it's weak in any way, if you're not connected to your Venus energy, uh, then being able to, to raise your prices is going to be really difficult. Being able to, um, you know, to receive when, you know, I've worked with clients who's who literally they're, they're kind of, I don't even know what Venus energy is. Mm. So, and I can see this in, in their chart. Um, they, they absolutely struggle, even with, uh, you know, if a client says, oh, you know, can I book an appointment with you? They'll sabotage that. Literally in, you know, think about all these other, you know, answer all the other emails and questions before they come back and say to that client, yes, you can. Uh, so being able to receive is so important in in business um, and that's your Venus energy. The next planet we have is Mars. Mars is your action energy. Uh, Mars is your passion. Mars is is how you do things. If you don't have a connection with your Mars energy, you'll procrastinate. You'll you'll sit on the sofa um, and you'll watch TV like all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you won't take any action because your Mars energy isn't engaged. Uh, the next planet that we work with on a personal level is Jupiter. Jupiter is your beliefs. Jupiter is your vision. Jupiter is how you go out into the world. You, but your, your, all of your belief systems sit within your Jupiter energy. Um, so that might be a belief of, you know, I can't do something or I can. Mm. Jupiter enables you to vision. Uh, so, you know, when people talk about, oh, I have a vision for my business, you're using your Jupiter energy. If people say, I can't vision, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know when, you know, especially yeah. that's because you're not connected to your Jupiter energy. Um, Saturn is the, the final uh, personal planet. And Saturn is, a, as I mentioned earlier, it's a very powerful planet because it's your results. Saturn is the planet that you need to, it shows you literally where you're going to get your biggest results. But your Saturn energy is the master builder. So Saturn takes all of the other energies from the, all the other planets and turns it into material things, into the real world, into, you know, it's, it's not, it's no longer talking, we're no longer talking about, um, you know, concepts. Saturn brings in things into reality. And we need all of our planets 
um, almost in a line. We need to be able to work with each of them in order to have a successful business. And this is why, so this is the, it's called the planets and psyche model. And it's understanding that each of your planets plays a part in the, in how you function. Um, imagine them that, that they're like a, uh, members of a boardroom. You know, you're the, you've got a boardroom table and you've got all of these planets, all of these archetypal energies that sit around the boardroom and they help you to run your business. So say, for example, Mercury, um, you know, that your Mercury energy is so key into how you can communicate with your uh, with your clients mm -hmm. um, in your in your marketing and your and your you know sales is more more venus mm -hmm. um so mercury if you've got mercury in aries you need to to deliver things very bullet pointy um you know you you've you'll come up with new ideas you'll you might speak first and think later um but your work very much in short sprints um, and you need a, a win when you complete a task. So if you've got Mercury in Aries, you give yourself a reward every time you, you complete a task. You will then complete those tasks. If there isn't a reward, your Mercury in Aries energy kind of goes, oh, I'm bored. Can't uh, bothered. <laughs> yeah. I'm bored. You know, basically, Mercury in Aries gets bored easily. Mm. So you need to keep that that interest up um, and you know all of the signs you know mercury in all of the signs has a different kind of feel to it mercury in uh, taurus has to be very practical very common sense um, material results um, you need a tangible result um, you know abstract outcomes are not going to be going to sit with you there has to be a tangible um, result um, and you need to bring things down into smaller steps um, with Mercury in, in, mm. in Pulse. And, you know, each of the signs has a very different way of working. Um, and when you know what that is, you can, you know, you can, basically you unlock your superpower. Uh, yes. you know, it's, it's so key to understanding, um, you know, how you communicate. And it's yeah. so important. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go through all the signs, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean you've just given a real insight I think with the examples you've given about how you know when those planets are doing various the things that they do in the sky how that can then impact and being able to understand why you your energy might be feeling wonky and what really spoke to me as you were sharing this was thinking about how helpful and empowering this is because it's not about we can I think humans can default to making ourselves wrong oh I sat on the sofa because of blah 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 actually mercury was doing something or whichever planet was doing something and is the reframe actually you were honoring your energy at that moment in time mm -hmm. and then with that awareness you could have taken different action but you didn't know what you knew for example and that to me just feels so so empowering like you were saying it unlocks your superpower because then you can um create your business with the rhythms that are going to suit suit you because business models you know there's so many different business models out there we want to be in alignment with the business model that we're going to operate that's going to be able to so the business can take care of ourselves so that we can show up and lead and take care of our clients without having the stresses and pressures and being distracted by whatever might be going on um, within within the business that we can literally be there hold the container for our clients expansion and you're absolutely right with working with your energy. And this is a really key. So a very simple way to work with the planets without needing to know about, you know, a lot about astrology is working with the moon mm. um, and the moon um, as a as an energy, you know, as we talked about, we're, we're made up of water. So we're going to be impacted by the moon. But the moon moves through uh, a sign every two and a half days. And uh, we have a new and a full moon uh, twice a month. And we know when they are. We can look in the sky and we can see them. So you don't need any uh, any other understanding of literally looking above your head. And going, oh, OK. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> How big does the moon look? Oh, she's really big and round and I can see her. That's a full moon. Oh, there is no moon. That's a new moon. So it's very simple. Any, you know, anybody can do this. Mm -hmm. And just that simple understanding of the energy that a moon brings, especially for women in business. Uh, because we are you are women are cyclical beings we have our monthly cycle and you have your monthly cycle which is even if you're no, if you're no longer bleeding 
you still have an energy mm. ebb and bright flow with your monthly cycle. And there are going to be times when pulling back, um, coming back into your, and I call this the wise woman phase, where, you know, and it might be when you're when you're bleeding. Um, it can also be when the, the moon is, uh, it's a dark moon. So it's the time before an exact new moon. When energy levels drop, mm. um, Actually, you know, being out and uh, forward facing, you know, outward facing in your business during those times, it's going to be it's not saying you can't do it. It's going to be harder work. Yeah. So being, you know, in the in the dark moon phase before the time of exact moon or exact new moon or when you're bleeding, actually give yourself permission to sit on the sofa. Um, Mm -hmm. This is a great time for. Uh, you know connecting in with your your intuition and following guidance sitting and just you know snuggling up just allowing your energy to drift uh you know and and you get I get my some of my biggest best downloads in this time uh, because we're connected so deeply or we can, can allow ourselves to connect so deeply and this has been a real game changer for me really connecting with my feminine energy as I said earlier you know the years of pushing and mm. all of that. but now honoring my energy my own feminine cycles and rhythms but also that of the moon is has been so influential in in my business you know so we we can have that time where we can give ourselves permission to act to to to, to come back to, to for our energy to turn inwards and then at full moon this is a great time for being more outwardly facing um you know full moon is a time for launching you know offering things to your uh, to your audience birthing um mm-hmm. full moon is a culmination it's a it's a coming to to fruition and the time between you and full moon can be a great time for creation. And this is a great time for creating things in your business. And then between full moon and new moon in that second half of the cycle, reviewing, um, you know, what went, you know, what do I need to, to do differently? That kind of energy. Mm-hmm. And this, you know, that can be a, that's a really high level way of working, but it's very powerful as well. And, you know, and obviously the other planets, you know, will be doing all of the things that they're doing. Mm-hmm. But the moon you can all work everybody can work with the moon because you can see it um you know and yes we have things like mercury retrograde where you know people say mercury retrograde made me do it it's 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 like mercury gets a bad rap (laughs) but but actually mercury retrograde is a very powerful time to work on Mm. um you know so there are always times when you can work with the energy of the planets um and just a little teeny bit of 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 insight and information you can take a long way you know certainly i would i would advise anybody to you know anybody and everybody who wants to work much more with their feminine energy just keep a track on the moon very Mm. simple way of, of of dipping your toe into into that into that energy Oh, I love that. So, so many great tips. <laughs> As you say, I could, I could talk to you forever about this because um, there's so much to, to, to learn. So I'm very glad that you're holding the space for us, being able being that one step away from an intervention because you've <laughs> just, uh, uh, you know, you've got so much knowledge and being able to apply that knowledge to help people with their transformations is just, you know, such a such a huge com- uh, contribution. So I'm sure our listeners are thinking, how do I how do I keep in touch with Sam? How do I find out where she's hanging out? Um, I know you've got an amazing free group. Do you want to tell people how they can join their free group and then how they can stay stay in touch with you? Yeah, so uh, so I have a, a free group, Live Illuminated Life, obviously, uh, and inside that group, I I go live every week. Um, I share what's happening in in the heavens with the planets. So uh, there's you know, so every Thursday morning, um, I go live what's happening, how this can affect you, you know, what to do about it as well, how to work with your energy. Um, and also in that group, there's there's regular meditations that I offer, again, to connect with the energy of the planets, but also to, to support your energy as well, especially if you are in one of those, I need to sit on the sofa spaces. Mm-hmm. Um, so I also... Uh, uh, have my Facebook profile and uh, my personal profile. I share on there regularly what's happening in with the planets, but also how to work with your your own energy. And I host uh, regular uh, free uh, masterclasses um, throughout the year, usually every every couple of months. And again, these are these are free because I absolutely you know it's 
I want to make this work accessible to everyone. Mm. So there is some level of, you know, accessibility for everybody. Yes, I have one to one VIP clients where, where I work very closely with. But actually, you know, there is I want everybody to work in this way because mm. I know the difference it's made in my life and my clients lives. Um, and when I witness my clients, you know, navigate uh, the client shared with me um, last night on one of my group calls, she experienced uh, five years ago a, a huge uplet, uh, you know, basically a uh you know her her husband's business um dissolved there was it was it was a horrific time mm. and she really struggled with that situation um in the last six months she's had something very similar happen she said to me like I cannot believe how I have navigated and moved through this completely differently she said I'm a different person um and I want this for really? everybody yeah that's why I share my my free offering so that's yeah. the easiest way to to get hold of me um because my um my <laughs> my lacking in Virgo energy means that I'm not organized enough to have a website that's up to date <laughs> so if you if you if you search me on Google you will find a website but it's all about birth healer work because <laughs> I, have, I have very limited Virgo energy which is why I have a, I have a VA that's got lots of it yeah. <laughs> I have Virgo energy so I'll put the links to the Facebook <laughs> profile beneath the podcast <laughs> I, I surround myself with people with Virgo energy because um, mine is a bit like mm, not so much <laughs> <laughs> I pants Virgo energy <laughs> oh, I love it Sam's group is absolutely fantastic I'm in there so I highly recommend everyone come and uh, join in the fun there and to uh, start to understand more about the planets and how you can work with them Thank you so much, Sam, for your generosity on coming on our show and sharing your wisdom and love and knowledge with everybody. We hugely appreciate you. Thank you so oh, much. It's been an absolute joy. And I, yeah, I could talk about this all day and I could talk with you all day, Louisa. Yeah, we, once we get going, it's like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thank you so much for offering me this opportunity. It's been an absolute joy and a pleasure. Um, and uh, I welcome, you know, any of your listeners to come and join my join my group and um, come over to my, my profile, um, say hello, send me a friend request, um, give me a wave, say hi. Um, because I've healed my Saturn, um, my Saturn energy, I'm absolutely fine with chatting with people. <laughs> oh I love it yes I recommend everyone take Sam up on that offer all righty everyone thank you so much for joining us today I look forward to connecting with you all again and until we meet next time on our next episode sending you all so much love and appreciation for being here and for all that you do in our beautiful world lots and lots of love take care bye-bye Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.